What's up, squad? You already know what time it is. 90 day fiasco. Boom. So today we're going to start the new series, 90 Day Fiance Before the 90 Day Season. I don't even know. Yo, there's just way too many to keep track of who belongs when and where. I just know who's who. So anyways, your boy was chilling on a Sunday, chilling like a villain, popped up some 90 Day Fiasco, and uh, what a bing, what a boom. More dummies have made their appearance. Now, typically I like to start off with the nutcase that rise above all the others. You know, there's levels to this. And in this case, that's exactly what we're going to do. So let me introduce you to a uh, 46 year old little Caesar. Pizza lit though, you day. So her buddy here goes upon his life making straight dough from a Loha nail salon and spins it all on some Ukrainian woman from a sketchy site called AnastasiaDate.com, a site known for allegedly scamming men since launch of 97. Let's take a look at a review from a happy customer. So here's my review of Anastasia Date. Um, I lost $9,000 on that site. You dummy! Need more proof? Say no more. Let's just dive right in, shall we? Let's get it. My name is Caesar. I'm 46 years old and I live in Jacksonville, North Carolina. My typical day is getting up, getting ready for work. Before I leave the house, I usually like to meditate. What? Oh uh, yeah, shake like a rock all you want, but he ain't gonna help your case. Pretty weird, dude. So our buddy Caesar here likes to ride his bike, probably because he can't afford a car. I wonder why. To his uh, 007 Secret Spy Underground Mission. Say that three times. 007 Secret Spy Underground Mission. 007 Secret Spy Underground Mission. And Tilsi has this habit for hyping up scenes that don't need to be hyped up. 10, 15 minutes later, the action starts right when I walk through the door. It's non-stop. Go ahead and take a look at the menu. Bruh. Dude made it sound like he just popped in. Surprise! Mother chuckers. Whipped out some nunchucks and just, what the ah, People left and right. But no, he just paint toes. Nothing against painting toes. He just wasn't that serious. So Buddy goes on to tell us about how he met Maria. The love of his life that ironically he has never met. It's very important for me to have somebody that's my soulmate. Her name is Maria. She's 28 years old and she lives in Ukraine. We met on Anastasia date for a small price. Basically, I'm like a dreamland. Exactly. So stop dreaming and wake your baloney self up. Because at some point, you just got to sit back and go, hmm, huh. does this make any sense? Probably not. She looks like she's well crafted from Donatello. And he looks like the actual Donatello. The Ninja Turtle. But sauce, what about the uh, beauties in the eyes of the beholder? Nope, don't want to hear it. No one wants Dr. Dre made in China. We want the real Dr. Dre. Let's be honest. So Buddy over here starts going in uh, about how he got finesse. Anastasia Date has a unique system. You could buy flowers, candy. This is the card and the flowers that I sent her with my email and my phone number on it. This cost me $450. Oh my God! Oh, Jesus, oh my God! Yo, you saw that, dude? This cost me $450. You dummy! <laughs> Ain't nothing to be proud about, buddy. You just spent $450 on flowers. Flowers? Them flowers better come with Timon and Puma singing Hakuna Matata. It means no worries! Because I'm very worried about your intellectual capacity. See, I thought Nicole was a peanut brain, but this man's taking it to a whole new level. I would not be shocked if Hide and Seek Champion, as he owned, was the one running this whole Ponzi scheme and stealing this man's money. He's just that dude. So we get a deeper look into how he communicates with his uh, artificial girlfriend, Azin. <laughs> I mean, Maria. Maria and I communicate every single day, and she's given me pet names like Big Daddy, what? my husband. I can't wait to be with you. I love you, my husband. Do you think she's sending those videos to anyone else? I hope she's not sending those videos to anyone else. Does she ever say your name? So we find out that Maria does not have the word Caesar in her dictionary. Apparently his name has never been spoken throughout their uh, five years of artificial relationship. Yes, five years. Five too many years of being stupid. Someone needs to check this man's vision today. Dr. Dre should not be doing no toes, being legally blind. But what I'm really curious about is uh, if he's willing to spend a mortgage on flowers, what else is this dude buying? Everything is right on this. The American dollar goes a long way in Ukraine. So every time I get a paycheck, I send her money. Over the years, I've sent $40,000 to Maria. Oh! Oh, Lord, the stupidity hurts. But it gets worse. He said he spent $40,000, but it's an ongoing mortgage. Because currently, the man is sending Maria $800 a month. I am baffled. So why is he doing this? Oh, no. You would think that after continuously trying to meet this woman for like five years, a light bulb would appear and he would grow what we call common sense. But no, the man decides he's going to fly to Ukraine to try to meet her. But... But now, she wants me to go to a resort in Mexico. I still think that we should, um, we should do Ukraine. Mm, 
I think it's a good idea, but it's not. It's really cold. Like her heart. Pew, pew. All right, that was pretty bad. So Dr. Dre is getting into cold treatment. This dude bought the tickets, did his own lineup, the whole nine yards, and she cancels. So now she wants him to finesse some tickets to Mexico. Perfecto. Problem is, the guy's broke. Apparently, every time he plans a trip, she uses the reverse Uno card. Over the past five years, me and Maria, we tried to meet up over three different occasions. Kind of like this guy. I agreed to come here and meet her. She didn't show up, had an excuse, she had to be somewhere else, and then she promised me that she would meet me. Another excuse, she changed the date, said she would come again, another excuse. Not saying you're getting scammed, yes you are, but just a thought. Did I mean thought or thought? Hmm, doesn't matter, either or. So her buddy now has to go hustle for some money. Hey, what's up, man? How you been? Hey, what's up, say? What's, what's going on, right? man? I'm doing all right. Um, I need some money so I could fly to uh, Mexico. <laughs> I'll help you this time, but okay. that, that's just it. I agree to loan some money because that was his dream and I wouldn't want to shatter it. That was very nice of you, Timmy. Hope you don't miss it because it's going straight to Marie's pockets. Yeah. But you ever had that one friend who like never hits you up until they need some money? I don't because I'm broke. But if you did, I swear it always starts with. I'm doing all right. Um, Anyways, so the minute the money shift hands, our buddy Caesar went to get the money transferred. So why didn't he just go ahead and buy the plane tickets? Good question. The reason why I'm not... Um, buying her own plane ticket and then sending her the confirmation code is because I trust her. What? She can buy her own plane ticket the way that she feels fit. Oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. So Einstein here decides instead of just buying her the plane tickets, maybe from Spirit, save a couple bucks, and maybe or maybe not she makes it to Mexico. We guarantee turbulence. But at least she can get a good fade with the money saved. But no, let's just send her cold hard cash. And we're all just gonna pretend that as he owns, I'm gonna come up with like his 10th excuse to dodge another meetup with his client. Oh wait! Do you have the money that I sent you? Yes, yes, I have. Do you have your plane ticket yet? What about plane ticket? The plane ticket to Mexico. I don't understand what I say. Don't hear me all. You think uh, you just care about yourself? Bruh. <laughs> yeah, you can take Ray Charles or Helen Keller to play patty cake to see that coming. So according to Maria, despite Russia and Ukraine being in conflict for years now, uh, she'll not be able to fly to Mexico to enjoy some pina coladas next to her Walmart brand Dr. Dre. Put him on some beats and I might not even know. Anyway, so Caesar gets tossed away like a salad. Get it, Caesar? Salad? Get it, get it. Never mind. I was like, you know what? Let me do my research. Probably did a quick Google search. Uh, I did some research online and it says that you can still fly. What a shocker. So he hits her back up and she agrees to buy the plane ticket. So like every normal person, the first thing you do when someone agrees to buy the plane ticket, not show up, but just buy is to go ahead and buy. Got it. I was looking for an engagement ring. Uh, Let me take a look at the one you got right there. Do you have a budget in mind? Yeah, it's a cheap budget. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's already sent all his money to her, so he ain't got much for a ring. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is the type of friends you don't want around. They just be spilling all your business, making you look stupid. Oh, yes, and he still wear tidy whities with skid marks because he don't know the white. Really? So our buddy here is trying to buy a ring with a budget that's less than half of what he bought her flowers for. And Randy Orton here decides he wants to expose his friend and takes it up five notches. So you don't think this um pretty hot blonde has other guys that are sending her money to? We have a connection. You know, we've been talking for a long time. I know, but you don't think she could be talking to five other people the same way she's talking to you and getting money? Do you got a good uh, return policy? I am baffled. Yeah, at this point, Buddy's about two words from getting RKO straight through the glass. I don't care if Maria turns out to be a chimpanzee dressed up as a gazelle doing the maraca dance. You will not disrespect me at Bradley Jewelers in front of Samantha. I'm Susan. Bruh. So Dr. Dre was like, 195 for some laboratory diamonds. Okay, I went ahead and got it snatched up. So he heads home and invites his friend Yami over to open pack for his upcoming solo trip. I'm feeling a little nervous about the trip, so I asked my friend Yami to come and help me pack. Have you heard anything from her? Like, did she book her flight already? Is she, like, really excited? Like, she told me that she was going to book her flight today. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Alright buddy, you sure you're 46 and not just a man-child? How the flipping pancake did you live for 46 years and still be this dumb? That's like 17,000 days. What the heck were you doing? Darwin's theory of evolution? Yeah, clearly not working on this guy. This dude needs to be drug tested today. So we're less than a week away from pina coladas and fresh fajitas and Maria has yet to buy her plane ticket. So he's feeling jitters, I'm feeling nervous, I'm feeling anxious. I have so many feelings that it's just like I I can't even I can't even describe. Yeah, that's the feeling of being broke. Get used to it, buddy. That's what happens when you bet like 40 racks on someone you've never seen. And now you're betting your life away that she's gonna magically show up to Mexico and everything's gonna be happy dory. Yeah, no. This dude probably could have had his own nail salon by now. But nah, he'd rather be stuck with dino nuggets, RC Cola for a couple phone calls. Come on, bruh. Hashtag the struggle. <laughs> now I feel for the guy, you know, his heart's in the right place. I just don't know if his cerebral matters. This is exactly why I can never be a TLC cameraman. Like this whole script, did I say script? Yes, yeah, script would be wrapped up in one episode. Cut. Look, buddy, Marie ain't flipping coming. I don't even know she exists. So just Akuna Matata yourself back to Aloha Nail Salon and enjoy the rest of your days. Cut. But of course that does not happen. And he starts flexing his $200 ring to his friend Yami. This is one gift that you get on your knees for. 
Look at that bling. Look at them diamonds. What is it? Like, does she know you're proposing? No, she has no idea that I'm going to propose to her. What if she doesn't want to get married? Hmm, never thought of that. You dummy. Then yeah, he's screwed. There ain't no backup plan. See, there's a fine line between being very optimistic and just straight delusional. And this man falls somewhere right here. Oh, God. The only reason Maria would not say no is because she didn't show up. You'd think at some point between one to five years, dude would be like, hmm, wonder why she doesn't want to see me. But nah, dude's been fed so much bullshit a rue that now he's full of it. Now, I personally fail to believe that someone like this exists, but the world never ceased to amaze me. Now there is a rumor going around that he's potentially an actor. Shoo, I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna pray hard that you are, buddy, because if you ain't. Oh my god! Oh Jesus, oh my god! I have sent $40,000 because I trust her. Oh! But hey, what do I know? I'm just sipping so. <laughs> Time.